So today we continue from where we stopped. This time we are going to be adding functionality for the delete button so that when a user clicks on the delete button, it's going to delete an item. Let me take a few seconds to explain to you what is what exactly is going to happen. Now when a user clicks on the delete button, first we want to get the ID of the item that was clicked. So if we get this ID, we are going to assign that ID to a variable called um, to the ID of the button, actual button that was clicked. So, so when a user now clicks on this button, we are going to assign the, the href, the link to that button, we are going to now make a call to the delete API, sorry, to the delete, delete uh, endpoint. So let, let me just clarify. When this, this, this uh, application runs, a user clicks on the delete button here, right? So nothing happens, but when he clicks on it, after we finish working on it, he's going to grab the ID of the item that was clicked, assign it to the ID of a button, or assign it, put it somewhere on the ID of the button in the, in the, in the, in the form, just save the ID somewhere, so that when a user now clicks on Yes, because we need to display a confirmation. We need to click confirm delete. It now makes a, a delete request to the delete endpoint. So let's do it. By the time we do it, it's going to be easy. So what I normally like to do, I'm going to go to to Bootstrap and also get a free template, model template that we are going to use. So uh, let's just say boot, Bootstrap model. So Bootstrap model. We are going to look for something that is easy and confirm the link. Uh, maybe I suspect this one might work, but let's see if we have something better. Mm. So I think this might actually work. So instead of wasting time, I'm just going to small out green. Let me just take the first one. So, so it doesn't really need to be big. So this is what we are, we are working with. So I'm going to copy this. Um, so let's see. Okay, so I'm going to copy and I'm going to go to my workspace um, and I'm going to paste it somewhere. I'm going to paste it there and I'm going to give it an ID of delete model ID equal to delete model. Okay. So that is the idea of that of that. And the class is modal fade role is dialog just like the previous ones we've worked with. So okay, role is dialog, okay. Um so I'm going to just say confirm delete here. Confirm delete. And now I want to make this to be an anchor tag A. An anchor tag is fine. So I'm going to give it a name or an ID, an ID of an ID of let's call it delete del, del ID. Or let's call it delete ID. Delete ID. The ID of the item to be deleted. Uh, the next thing I'm going to assign uh, a href is empty. So the idea is when the when this form this uh, displays, then the, the the ID is going to be assigned to delete ID. So when the user confirms to delete, it's now going to use this ID to make a rest call to the delete endpoint. So let's go to this place, and now we are going to write another function. This time. Uh, when the delete button is clicked, I'm going to just copy this first two. Maybe that's, that's just right here. There's nothing there. So dollar uh, the table. This time we are talking about the delete button. I think I named it delete button. This this one is the delete button in the in the in the table. So delete button. Uh huh. So on dot on the event we are trying to target is the click event 
and when the click event runs you are going to run a function function okay so all right so when this we need so again we need to prevent the default action all right so it doesn't open up any page so we are going to now get the ID of the item that was clicked. So I'm going to save uh, href just like before is equal to uh, dollar base dot at tree href. Okay. So um, I'm now going to assign this value to 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 the delete id in case if the user now confirms delete we are going to use that delete id to make a rest call uh, so i'm going to just say uh, delete id delete id is inside the delete model right so name delete model name delete id so it's inside the delete model so we are going to just select it. We are going to say dots. Uh, the delete model is an ID, right? Let's check. So delete model is an ID. Yeah, correct. So so we are going to select it using the hash. So we have delete model. So again, I'm going to enclose this in quotes. I think that is the way it works. Okay, so delete model. Uh, we also select delete ID, ID of the item to delete it. So now this button, uh, uh, which is actually an anchor tag, I'm going to assign the uh, href attribute, href attribute of this button. And I'm going to assign it to assign it assign it uh, this I hope I'm not making a mistake okay so h uh, href okay assign it href let's get it right so this attribute href so that is wrong is going to be delete or delete ID. I think we are correct. So let's make no mistake about it. Um, so I'm going to go to finally. I'm going to now show the model. The model. So I'm going to say hash key uh, delete model dot uh, delete model dot show dot model. Alright, so hopefully it's going to work out perfectly okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's just cross check and see that everything is okay. So when the href is assigned and the person clicks on the button to confirm, it's going to make a rest call to the slash delete. So it's going to make a rest call to slash delete. And then it's going to redirect to nationalities, right? So let's see. I, I, I really want to get it correctly this time. So okay. So let's run it first to see what happens. So let's run it. So we have deletes making replace slash deletes. Oh, I could have, I could have said, oh, okay, so, I'm going to rephrase this page, and let's click on delete, and nothing happens, I'm going to show my console, okay, you have so many, so many errors in here, so many errors coming from, error because unrecognized dot table. Okay, so 
So actually, we, we can figure out exactly where this problem is coming from. So let's get back here. So the problem is coming from here. So we have dot table. So we don't need no dots here. So we have we we'll have delete button dot click. Okay. Okay, so let's try again. I'm going to run this. Delete button, please. Okay. So, um, it's run. It's run correctly. So if I please, so let me just refresh the page. Delete. So actually, it all, it's almost working. So permit me to just change up a few things to make the delete red in color. So. Let me go to this place. So the delete button is going to be BTN, BTN, uh, I'm going to just call it uh, BTN warning of danger. Danger is okay. And I'm going to say yes, delete, yes, delete, yes, delete. Then the question here is going to be, are you sure you want to delete the record? Are you sure you want to Delete the selected records. Okay, is a question. So, if the user says yes, then you delete it. So let's run this application to see what happens. Um, so hopefully everything is going to be fine, and we are going to have this record deleted from the database. So let's F5. So let's delete this one. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. Nothing happens. It did not go. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes, delete. But it did not go. So let's go and find out where the problem is coming from. Um, so give me... Okay, let's just check. Let's check. We missed out something. Page drive is okay. Okay. Um, okay. So we have page drive. We have type. Oh, okay. So type should be submit and type should not. Okay. No, no it's correct. Type should be button. Um, so delete, delete model with model in this place. So I guess type should be submit. Type should be submit. So let's go to change the type to submit. Just give me a second. Let me just check something. So, um, so let's change the type to submit. I think that may solve the problem. So I'm going to actually take out this type as equal to button and I'm going to run this application. As it's coming up, let me just cross check here, delete button on click function. Um H drive assigns okay. Delete type the attribute H drive H drive perfect. Okay. So Let's try again. I'm going to refresh the page. The file to refresh. Delete. Yes, delete. Nothing happens. Okay, let's solve this problem in the next class. So I'd like to thank you for viewing and also thank you for your patience. So we'll fix this problem in the next class.